okay we have this is a block there's a pulley which is given a velocity now I, I think th th these are the things which are and uh, let this be fixed please all of you first read the question okay let me read it in the figure a block a block a is played on rough horizontal fixed surface and connected with a ball b means this surface is rough and connected with the ball where is the ball this is a ball and we have a string the block a is in limiting equilibrium i think this word we are going to underline it the quotient of friction between the block a and the rough surface is 0.5 the ball b is at a distance uh, there is a ball b is at a distance l this is what what we have below the face, the ball b is now imparted horizontal velocity v you know the initial acceleration of block a is the initial acceleration we are just bringing the laws of motion ideas into the discussion on this one so now start working initially it's in limiting equilibrium is telling so what are the forces that are acting the block a is in limiting mbg will act here here tension i'll bring b here there's a tension there's a tension here tension here tension and here a friction will act hmm. okay till here i think uh, Okay, this directly. Let me write it. Mu m h, <coughs> the frictional force. So as it is in equilibrium, we'll write equation mu m h minus t equal to zero. T minus m b g equal to zero. <coughs> Equating these two. mu m b equal to m b mu is 0.5 let's see what what information we are going to get this one okay there is one equation you keep it and now it is given a velocity v not so the tension no longer it will be same some other tension will come into picture earlier tension let it be t not now the tension acting let it be t not okay then the weight mg we liked here the tension t not here t not uh, and the friction mu mg and it will act the lead this l i'll show it here hmm. no come for this one no uh, look at this block as it is accelerating t not minus okay the tension no longer t not no some other value yeah t let it be so now definitely uh, is telling <coughs> the initial acceleration of block a so it will accelerate as the block a moves definitely the rope connected to the block a will also move so what is this point this point also will have acceleration now we are describing now and what what is the path of this how do it will move yes it will move in a 
circular no doubt but but the tension what happened how to calculate this we are just describing the circular motion at that instant for this particular block b then there's a point p which i'll consider what is the point p point p is on a rope so what is the acceleration of point p should be the acceleration of block a then i should apply a pseudo force and how the point p will accelerate will accelerate down the point p will accelerate down then i am describing the motion of this block b with respect to that circular motion then i should apply a pseudo force so the pseudo force will come in this direction then the equations of motion will be t minus mu mag equal to m a into a will it will it also move how do the block a will move how the block b will move block b will just move vertically down so then the equations will be mbg minus t equal to mb into a then the okay then then the circular motion equation will be t plus mb ap minus mbg equal to mb v not square by l from where this equation has come at that instant the block b will moving in a circular path it's having a tendency to swing also it will also move it is also having a tendency to swing also what what about this equation sir how come you can write both the equations this is the due to constraint equation if the acceleration of block a block a is a then acceleration of block b also should be a. the reason for that they are connected by a common string this for the acceleration are equal then it's also having a tendency to swing this is what due to swing are you getting this one now we have to solve this one so we have we, we have almost all the information first how to eliminate the tension okay we'll get first acceleration acceleration of p equal to this one so we, what we have to calculate the initial acceleration of block a the a is unknown thing which has to be calculated shall we add up these two first shall we add up these two Or, or, or directly one thing you can do one thing directly substitute the value of t here. You know acceleration of a, we all given v not. Then you can solve it. That this, this uh, not needed. I'll, I'll leave it. And this is okay. No, let let me just t equal to a main to a. What is a p? A p is equal to a no. initial acceleration of block is asking that that a only we have to calculate substitute all the values anybody get me that acceleration <coughs> 
I, I, no, no observation. I want really some observation from the students. Really, sir, are you correct with your pseudo force? I am checking your pseudo force. <coughs> Is it pseudo force direction correct? No response from anybody. Make observation. Music should not come. I, I'm not getting. Pseudo force direction because we are describing the motion of the block with respect to string. The about point P will rotate no due to swing about point P. And what is the point P? Point P is accelerating. So whenever you describe the motion with respect to accelerating frame, you should bring pseudo force. In what action the point P is accelerating downward? Then now, what action pseudo force should come upward? Okay, are you getting? N not not analyzing a. Uh? This is the plus. Okay, carry on now. Anybody value? So just shall I say that the the ball B will swing about P where the P is accelerating. So therefore, I should apply pseudo force. We have done all the problems where it was rotating about a fixed point. Now, if it rotates about a point which will accelerate, means bring pseudo force. So what is this? This is the pseudo force. This is I think something. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll bring it here. This is pseudo force. Just some example. For you, uh, okay. This I'll do one thing. I'll solve it. Nobody is able to respond. Uh, M B uh, acceleration of this is needed, no? So M A plus M B into A is equal to M B V naught square by L plus M B G minus mu M A G. mbg minus mu mag that should get that should become equal to zero so we'll get solving this we'll get the required answer uh, 3 meter per second square so what is the basic idea if a certain object swings about if a body rotates about a point which is inertial frame, okay, no problem. If it rotates about a point which is accelerating, then bring pseudo force and carry on the problem. Then even the pseudo force will be a part of centripetal force. That's what I mean. It I wanted to bring that idea here. Now you can ask questions, sir. Initially, you wrote this equation. Uh, again, you erased it. MBG minus T equal to MB into A. Uh, tell me, like here, there's the equation one, there's the equation two. What about equation three? What is the motion of the ball B? At the ball B, at that instant, will try to swing. After some time, it will move in a plane. Uh, th this block when it comes here where is the ball be ball will will be somewhere here swinging no it will be swinging and also moving down so this is the at that instant we are discussing at that instant means so what is the thing only it is swinging about point p so sir what about this this will be after some time so what is the question as the initial acceleration of block initial is telling so initial means this will not come into picture is it okay at that instant, the moment ball B is given velocity, at that instant only I asked it. So this will not come into picture. Sir, A is 2 by 3, sir, and N is 3, sir. Huh? Yeah. A is 2 by 3, sir. A is 2 by 3, yeah? Uh, yes, sir. N is 3. N is 3. Okay, fine. Yeah, thank you. One problem. Just one problem I wanted you to analyze here huh? I, I'll scroll down uh, 
and those so who are mass of block and mass of block they are not mentioned i are there no uh yes. those who are writing you can write it down afterwards because i took over lot of concept not possible for you to permit just make observation huh? writing you can do later on huh? 